I don't want to show it to everyone otherwise because I'm scared you'll all run away home and no one will stay and I'll talk to one person in an empty room. So, um, I'm bringing the pieces to show you this one because this is my friend Magdi from Egypt and I wanted to use him in a quilt. I wanted to use this face but actually the body is from a different photograph. But I traced them then this size because you can have a difference in the shape of a hill and it doesn't matter at all. No. But if you make a nose the wrong shape, it becomes a different person. It's no longer recognisable. Because if you look at our faces, we all have more or less the same size nose, two eyes, a mouth between. It's a really simple element of face. And it's the small variations that make big differences in how we recognise each other. Get one little thing wrong and it's not the same person anymore. And sometimes these faces, I'll make them and I'll put them on the wall and I'll look at it and look at it and think, something's not right, it's not Magda yet. And my husband will walk past and say, it's not Magda yet. And I'll think, ah, what have I done? And it takes me sometimes weeks looking to work out what it is that's not quite right and to fix it. So that's there to be passed around. I started playing with backgrounds for him because I didn't want the background of, of this picture. Yeah. This one is more the correct background, more the correct picture. I wanted the wind blowing the vest, but in fact the printer chopped it off. So I had to do that on my computer to be able to finish the hands. And so that's the body. I didn't use him smiling because Arabs don't like photographs taken smiling and showing their teeth. If you take a photo of an Arab, they usually go and you get this very prim mouth. So I knew I would show him his quilt and I didn't want him to be embarrassed by it. I wanted the, the rocks behind him because this place is one of the most beautiful places on earth. But I didn't necessarily want them in the same places. I wanted him between. So I pushed them apart a little bit. And I changed the backgrounds. But that's the tracing for the rock. And this became a big quilt. Sorry? Are rocks in Egypt? Mm -hmm. no. yeah. okay. The white desert. If you go to Egypt, spend the extra money to have one night in the white desert. It's fantastic. Okay. It's five hours drive to Baharia from Cairo and then another hour and a half after you get into the Bedouin four-wheel drives. Yeah. But they take you down, they set up the camp, mm -hmm. they cook you grilled chicken and it's hot vegetables and rice on a tiny little fire. Mm -hmm. They make, make up beds for you. It's really amazing. It's a great experience. So there's some more little bits of background that I used in this quilt, which you will see. But, you know, I use things like this in the back of the quilt. Um, I guess... I need to talk to you about how you do this process.